Hey everybody, so welcome to US Skull Hunter in the wonderful world of skull carving. My name is Hunter. Uh, today we're going to do some carving and I'm going to show you three different types of burrs that have really helped me and my carving uh, kind of advance a little bit, uh, improve. So the uh, first thing we're going to start with are these carbide burrs. Uh, second, we're going to go into um, some cross-cut burrs, which I'll show you better pictures of these as I go along. And then lastly, we're going to do some really um, tiny diamond dust um, dental style burrs at the end. Uh, so without further ado, we're going to get started. Now as far as what I'm using to carve, I am carving with a Dremel 4000 with an extension and an adjustable chuck. That is this thing right here on the end. Uh, that's really imperative, uh, to, in my opinion, to have because you can put any size burr in there, even the little dental uh, ones, and it works great. You just open it up, adjust it, stick the next one in. Very hassle-free, and you don't have to worry about the cullets, um, and you can do some really small burrs with that adjustable chuck. Okay, guys, so the burrs that I'm talking about today are in addition to the burrs that I already use, kind of the ones that I started out with. Um, I have a blog that goes through um, all the equipment that I use as well as the kind of the starter pack of burrs that you would need to start carving skulls. Um, I'll leave a link to that in the description so you can look that up. Um, real quickly though, make sure you're wearing a mask when you're carving on bone. It's not good for your lungs, the bone dust and eye protection, ear protection if you want it. Okay, so there's basically three types of cutting burrs. There's a double cut, which is what we're using today. A single cut, uh, which you can get through Dremel. They have one, which I show in the um, blog link that I just told you about. And there's a diamond cut, which we're not, not working with today. Um, but you have those three types. Now the kind of advantage to using these is that they cover a wider area. So uh, when you're cutting out large areas, um, it creates a really smooth surface. Even though these things look really gnarly, um, they actually cut really smooth. You're gonna wanna turn your Dremel or rotary tool um, up to high, as high as it will go, as far as the RPMs. Um, but this is like, as opposed to just a regular carbide burr, uh, you know, you're gonna have to go over an area numerous times to cut it down but this will just create a nice uh, valley in that negative space that you're pulling out. Um, so that's kind of the main advantage to using one of these. Okay, so I think you get the idea. I'm just, you know, carving out the valleys, leaving the peaks there. Um, you know, it comes out pretty smooth already, um, but I will come back with some sandpaper and smooth it out. It'll look really nice. Next up, we have the square crosscut burrs from Profitable Hobbies, and I pretty much exclusively use these for outlining for a design. So I've got a skull here with some. Uh, dogwood flowers and some leaves and we're going to outline those to show you how well these burrs work.
Okay, so this should give you a good idea of the outlining and what you can do with these burrs. Um, so I did the, the flowers here. I will cut down the area around it. I'll get to that in a minute. But I'm going to go ahead and finish outlining the rest of the design. So I finished outlining the design with the square crosscut burrs. One thing to keep in mind while you're cutting with these burrs is to only plunge the burr in maybe an eighth to two eighths of an inch into the bone. Um, you know, this is a thick skull, so I'm not too worried about it, but a thinner skull, um, you know, you might punch through all the way on the bone. If you're going for that, if you're cutting out an area completely, um, you, these birds actually work really well. Just punch it in there deep till it po pokes through, cut out your negative space, work works great. Now, now that I've got it outlined, you can see I already started um, cutting down some of the area around the design. And we're just going back to our cutting burrs. Um, I've got a cone shaped one here. Last but not least, we have some pointed diamond dust dental burrs. These things are really small, um, but they work really well for letters, like little um, cursive writing. So I've got some uh, writing here on the skull. I'm going to show you how to do it. You can also use it for outlining as well if you have like a really small um, design you're doing. It just works really well for any type of lines, okay? Uh, but we're going to do some cursive writing and you can see just how well it does. Now that we've gone over it with the pointed diamond dust burr and got all the letters in there, uh, you can come back and just clean it up and make it a little more pronounced. Um, that way you can read the, the letters and words better. Okay, so I hope you were able to get a first-hand look at how these burrs perform and exactly um, some of the things they can do. Obviously, um, when you start carving, you're going to find out all different ways that um, they work for you. Now, I'm going to finish this skull up. I'll post pictures on my Instagram and my Facebook so you can see those there. Um, there is all the links to these burrs in the description of this video. But there's also a um, article, a blog that I've written that goes along with this video. I'll put the link in the description. In the description, it's a little bit more straightforward and it has, again, all the links to those um, burrs as well. It's freezing right now. That's why I can hardly talk. Um, anyhow, hope you learned a little something. Don't take my word for it. Go try it yourself. And if you learned something, if you think I'd, uh, I've earned it, you can subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that. And I will see you in two weeks. Thanks, guys. Thanks, as always, everybody, for sticking around. If you have any questions whatsoever, just um, leave a comment below and I will get to that. I did want to say thank you to a few people for commenting uh, these last two weeks. Jeff Deegan or Degan, Man Made in Arkansas, I Ordered Liberty, and Flavia de o Aoria. And a special thank you to Travis Madison. He left a review on my Facebook page and he said, You do great work and your willingness to share your knowledge to others is refreshing. 
I am cruising through through your YouTube videos, buying Dremel bits, and trying out some carving as well. Thanks for answering my questions as I go along. Thank you, Travis. Travis is a cool guy. And thank you for sticking around and watching. Appreciate it.